Negotiating with Donald Trump from a weak position will be a total disaster Alex Salmond warns as he blasts the PM's fawning subservience in heated debate amid angry protests outside Parliament. MPs are today debating two rival petitions on Donald Trump's state visit invite in Westminster Hall. The three-hour debate is expected to be heated but there will be no vote on whether the visit takes place. The police are braced for huge protests outside Parliament during the debate and protesters are gathering. Trump is due to fly into Britain for the state visit later this year, with the event likely to happen in the summer. In the summer, negotiating with Donald Trump from a weak position will be a total disaster Alex Salmond has claimed as he blasted Theresa May's fawning subservience to the president. The former SNP leader? who has made it his life's work to smash the union, condemn the government for crawling to the White House while damaging Britain's fortunes with Brexit. Mr. Salmond said he had a unique advantage in having both met and negotiated with Mr. Trump the businessman and warned Mrs. May the president was not a stupid man. He warned, never, ever negotiate with Donald Trump from a weak position. It will end in total disaster. In a heated debate held in a small Westminster Hall rather than the main Commons chamber, MPs angrily clashed over Mr Trump and whether he should be invited to Britain on a state visit after a petition against was signed by 1.8 million people. The debate began with a warning from Chairman Charles Walker to the packed public gallery that noisy protests would lead to the debate being suspended. As MPs grappled with the invite to Mr. Trump inside the Palace of Westminster, a huge protest was building outside the building. Thousands of protesters against the president are expected and the Metropolitan Police have thrown a ring of steel around Parliament. Parliament, former SNP leader Alex Salmond warned fawning Theresa May against negotiating with Donald Trump from the weak position in the packed Westminster Hall debate today. Today. As the debate raged inside Westminster Hall, outside thousands of protesters against Mr. Trump gathered on Parliament Square for a noisy protest against the president. President, veteran MP Paul Flynn accused the president of behaving like a petulant child said Mr. Trump enjoyed enormous power but lacked intellectual capacity in an opening speech likely to set an insulting tone for the three-hour debate in Westminster Hall. Leading a debate on rival petitions about the state visit, Mr. Flynn said the president enjoyed a ceaseless incontinence of free speech as he insisted Britain would lose nothing from not hosting him for a state visit. He accused Mr. Trump of an Orwellian fantasy where good is bad, war is peace and slammed the cavernous steps of his scientific ignorance over climate change. Mr. Flynn said, We have a person of a unique personality running the United States. There are great dangers in attempting to give him the best accolade, of a state visit. This would be terribly wrong. It would appear the British Parliament, the British nation, the British sovereign is approving of the acts of Donald J. Trump. Trump, Westminster Hall was far busier than normal for the three-hour debate as MPs were restricted to a tight five-minute limit to ensure everybody could contribute. Contribute, Labour's David Lammy said an official visit should have been extended to Mr. Trump but warned, to afford this man after seven days a state visit is why so many people have petitioned. Mr. Lamy questioned why Mr. Trump was being granted an honor not extended to most U.S. presidents and claimed it was because this country is so desperate for a trade deal. He said, this country is greater than that. I think my children deserve better than that. I am ashamed it has come to this. Tory Julian Lewis said the U.S. had been Britain's closest ally in World War II and said a state visit was a small price to pay to keep an inexperienced president on board with the transatlantic alliance. He said, I believe it is entirely right that President Trump should come here. Labour MP Nasha Bradford West said the first days of Mr. Trump's presidency had been chilling and the executive order for a travel ban was frightening. The MP said that as a Muslim she feels attacked and misrepresented by Mr. Trump. And she questioned, where does this slippery slope lead? She said, I am not an enemy of Western democracy, I am part of Western democracy. 
Protesters against Donald Trump arrived for a massive rally outside Parliament today as MPs prepared to debate petitions on his state visit. Visit, protesters on Parliament Square slammed Donald Trump and Theresa May's special relationship today as part of a pro-EU migrant protest outside Parliament. Parliament, the Metropolitan Police are braced for angry protests on Parliament Square as MPs respond to a huge petition against a visit going ahead. Ahead, the rally in Parliament Square was building this afternoon. Organizers claim it will attract more than 20,000 people, will be addressed by speakers including joint Green Party leader Caroline Lucas and comic Shappy Kaur Sundi. Sundi, the Global Justice Campaign Group beamed a protest onto the side of Parliament last night which reads Say No to Trump ahead of today's Commons debate on his state visit. State visit. The petition against Mr. Trump's state visit has been signed by more than 1.8 million since Theresa May extended the invite on a trip to Washington earlier this month. This month, Labour veteran Paul Flynn, pictured in the Commons in November, will lead the debate in Westminster Hall today and has warned against making the president a victim. Victim, London Mayor Sadiq Khan yesterday joined calls for Mr. Trump's state visit to be cancelled. Be cancelled, the U.S. president is due to fly into Britain on Air Force One in the summer for a state visit after he was invited by Theresa May. Theresa May. If she get on top and turn around, I'm busting. If she do that thing with the mouth, I'm busting. If she got, if she... This is not that.